Well, Chief Meteorologist Albert Ramon back with us. Boy, different parts of the region battling different right. things, but we are certainly at the top of the list when it comes to air quality. So our air quality at 11 a.m. this morning moved yeah. into the purple category. That's the very unhealthy category, and we have not gotten out of that just yet. We're hoping, though, in the overnight, things will improve. So right now, all of the reporting stations still in the purple, still very unhealthy air quality. As we head towards tomorrow, it'll be in the red category. That's unhealthy, and the brand new update as of the top of the hour showing Thursday now still unhealthy, but for sensitive groups, not as bad and it'll improve in a big way air quality wise and visibility wise as we head into Thursday afternoon. So hour by hour forecast on the smoke between now and sunrise improvement. Though the smoke does come back tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, you can see the brighter colors here. So that's why we'll be with unhealthy air quality for much of tomorrow into Thursday morning. It looks like Thursday morning at 7 a.m. The worst air quality for that day and then improving conditions we had in the Thursday afternoon. Finally, with the winds beginning to shift more out of the south. Here's how we start our day tomorrow. It's hazy. Temperatures will be in the low 60s, about 63 degrees in Chicago. A couple of passing showers possible tomorrow. The rain chance tomorrow is small at 20 percent. More cloud cover, still hazy conditions although not as hazy and smoky tomorrow as it was today and high temperatures will be in the low 80s, but cooler though near the lake. We have multiple opportunities of showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. The first arrives tomorrow night into Thursday morning and then the chance of severe weather. Watch this here Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. This is a look at seven o'clock on Thursday evening and the new model tonight indicating maybe some intense supercell thunderstorms will be possible. Our area already highlighted for Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening for scattered severe thunderstorms potential. The main concerns would be thunderstorms producing large hail and straight line damaging winds. Can't rule out an isolated tornado, but that's a low end threat and the low end threat also is flooding. And that's just the beginning of rain chances that will be with us. 40% coverage for showers and thunderstorms Friday and Saturday. Those don't look to be strong or severe, but still some downpours because we'll have so much moisture in our atmosphere. And if we add up all those rain chances, that small chance tomorrow, that better chance Thursday and carrying over to Friday and Saturday, anywhere from a half inch to an inch and in some cases, maybe as much as an inch and three quarters of an inch of rainfall is in the forecast. This is a look at the muggy meter. We haven't shown this all year just yet. Increasing amounts of humidity starting tomorrow night. It's in that very uncomfortable, oppressive stage. We're talking about dew points above 70 degrees. That's that sticky stuff as we head towards Friday and also this upcoming weekend. That's what the thunderstorms, the fuel that they'll be feeding off of. And that's why we could get some downpours in that stretch. So weather alert in place tonight into tomorrow because of air quality. Weather alert in place Thursday. Not air quality, but a storm threat. Some of those could be severe Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. Thunderstorm chances continue Friday and Saturday. Isolated thunderstorm possible even on Sunday afternoon. All right. Busy. Yes, very much so. Yeah. Thank you.